Hey everyone, it's Andrew Cartwright here. I hope you're having a top-notch Tuesday and you're doing fantastic. Find out how 192 billion of approved federal stimulus package boost and what they're doing to online schools. This is awesome. How parents lost their minds celebrating the new child tax credit that they weren't expecting. Quote, finally a kid pays off, end quote. I had to say quotes because that's not coming from me. Secretary of State's pushing the child tax credit to become permanent and why one city is giving $30 million to its residents. So stick around. Here's your daily stimulus check, second stimulus check, third stimulus check, fourth stimulus check, executive action, executive orders, and stimulus package update for Tuesday, July 20th, 2021. Also, I'm going to tell you about my, my pool guy who made $1.2 million while he was cleaning my pool last year. I'm going to tell you a little bit about that. These people have no idea the guy he really is. People ask me what I do for a living. I tell them I'm a pole dancer. <laughs> <laughs> My goal is to give you the best information to access government and private money for yourself, your loved ones, and your business so that you just do better. So stay tuned to the channel for personal videos made just for you in personal finance, real estate, crypto, stock market, and other investments to generate you income, save you lots of money, and also share with you so you don't miss out on what's out there. Also, subscribe, like, and comment. You could win $1,900 in cash, no kidding. All you gotta do is subscribe, like, and comment. We're gonna pick a random comment. We're gonna give away $1,900 when we hit 190,000 subscribers, which we're almost there. With your help, maybe we'll get there. And also grab your two stocks Weeble down below. Get two stocks valued up to 2,300 bucks and my real estate program. Don't miss out on that, $99. It's uh, 36 videos. I've spent over $45 million making mistakes, so you don't have to. You bypass all the pain for 99 bucks with the code BOOM. It's an amazing program. Make sure you grab that so that you don't miss out on getting that real estate program. It's in the link below, and you can look at the first couple of videos absolutely for free. Virtual classes are here to stay for your child thanks to federal funding from the stimulus package, helping out learning companies like Canvas and Schoolology, not to be uh, confused with the uh, church, right? Schoolology finally brings our schools into the 20th century, seriously. It took a pandemic, folks. I guess whatever it takes, right? Now we've got education that people can get however and whenever they want. So as a parent, you already know probably about Schoology is one of the um, really took off with the pandemic, obviously, because kids weren't in school. With 400% increase in active users in March of last year and another 600% once Texas signed up, uh, they do have 30 million people though. So, I mean, that helps. Also, Canvas um, achieved pretty similar success signing up with states like um, my home state of Nevada. It's quickly become one of the top 20 most visited sites on the internet. You know, I guess they're going after Facebook, <laughs> Instagram, and YouTube. Never going to happen. But 20 for education, folks, I think that's not too bad, right? When you think about it, although they're kind of forced to go there. Uh, well, I guess it still counts. If there's anything to take away from this, though, the stimulus package has massively upgraded our delivery of education, our schools, our children, and it continues to improve companies like Schoology and also Canvas, not to be confused with Scientology. Or should, should I say that? Are we going to be dinged for that? Will they? Not any rate. So check it out. Make sure you look into those schools. After getting the stimulus boost, these two companies were pushed to multi-million dollar status. Lucky for the founders, right? The trajectory of both companies are getting set to go public soon. So congratulations to the innovators. Wait a minute, uh, public? That means they're gonna be public schools and a public company. Boy, we might actually be in control of education. You could make money off of education by buying a stock or grab two stocks with Weeble <laughs> for free, and then you can buy the stocks when they come online. Parents are now, you have the option to, if you're skeptical about taking the kids back to school, um, you can take your kids. If you prefer, you can keep them e-learning. They're allowing this to still happen. I think this is fantastic. It's even encouraged me to think about going back to, you know, fifth grade. I'd like to do that again. 
just because it was a good time. Meanwhile, this stimulus helped kids in an even bigger way, though, combating child poverty, which we've talked about. Secretary Treasurer Janet Yellen said, quote, for the first time in national history, American working families are receiving monthly tax payments to help pay their essentials like doctor's visits, school supplies, and groceries. By extension, Janet believes that the monthly child tax relief payment is a, quote, remarkable economic victory for America and also a moral one, end quote, especially when it comes to reducing child poverty in the country. Janet said in an interview with NPR, quote, I think this is something that is very important to continue, end quote. Yeah, she's saying, keep it coming, baby. She continued, quote, we'll do a huge amount to relieve child tax poverty, which has been a tremendous important problem, tremendously important problem in the United States, end quote. This is great news. Parents around the country, since the secretary treasurer that holds an unbelievable spot, when you think about it, we have the president, the secretary, and then we have the sec vice president and the secretary treasurer. These are our top leaders that run the United States corporation, right? Well, it shows good signs that more stimulus is coming in the future. And it's nice to know that our leaders are actually on our sides and have an idea of what you guys and what I and everyone else has been going through. So how excited are parents about this child tax credit? They finally downloaded TikTok. They finally have it now. Your parents, so if your kid's watching this, you know your parents now have TikTok and are completely embarrassing you, and I understand it. So, you know, what do you do? Well, kids also see this and wanting their cut. Only fair, right? Parents, this is my advice to you. Make sure you take out housing, food, clothing, and all the other essentials, and send them a bill. I mean, it's only fair that they pay their share, right? So they can see, I, I'm, that'd be something my dad and mom would do. Oh yeah, you want, a, you want some of that $300? No problem. You cost about $2,000 a month, so we'll minus three on, and we'll, how about we split the $1,700? I'm like, you know what, keep the money. Parents who are receiving their payments are taking uh, to social media on TikTok, celebrating the child tax credit, apparently because the big thing is, they had no idea it was coming. It just landed in their account like Christmas in July. It's becoming a bit of a viral hit though. And some pretty funny videos of parents joking that are quote, finally pays, you know, kids finally pay uh, to parents is saying something when quote, that's child tax credit hit, end quote. Yeah, well, so parents on TikTok are talking about the little things. Yes, things like clothes, shoes, school, um, zoo trips, field trips, and summer camp, because the little things like clothes and making funny videos after a pandemic with no job uncertainty and the things that have been going on out there, it's nice to know that the little, well, it's something that the little things, they aren't so little anymore. And finally, are you owed money? Are you owed money? You probably are. Most of my friends that I look up and send them this website are owed money. You most likely are owed money right now and don't even know it. Why? Well, what happened is money doesn't always make it your way because banks have trouble finding you, deposits have trouble finding you, and the cash ends up none other than the Treasury Department of your particular state. Mississippi State Treasurer David McCree announced that 30 million worth of unclaimed cash money is ending up in the pockets of its rightful owners. I guess they're going to track people down and say, take your money, damn it. <laughs> He's, quote, incredibly proud of our unprecedented effort to re uh, return unclaimed money to people of Mississippi. This money has become a critical economic stimulus as families endure the pandemic economic setbacks. But unlike many of the federal packages, this stimulus didn't increase monthly debt, end quote. Definitely a win-win for people while it's not a stimulus check. This is still very exciting news that those who were expe not expecting money from bank accounts, who, who can get mad at that? You know, this is incredible. What does this mean? This is very simple. Go to your state website, look for unclaimed money in your state, type in your name, and you'll most likely find 
that you probably have money there. If you lived in California, <clears throat> moved to Texas, let's say you had a utility bill, you paid it all down, you probably had a deposit there. The deposit of $500 is gonna land in your California account. I look up friends all the time, especially when I meet them for the first time. I look up if one of the states they lived in owes them money and I send them the link and say, hey, you got like two or 3000 or $4,000. Most people I find about $2,000 is just hanging out for them. So make sure you check that website. And finally, I wanna introduce my friend, my pool guy for over eight years now, who's been cleaning my pool. He's a fantastic guy, his name is Tim. So this is a little add-on to uh, today's stimulus. That was your stimulus portion, second stimulus and third stimulus package update for Tuesday, July 20th. And here's my, my buddy Tim to talk a little bit about um, the million two that he made last year. So thank you so much for watching, I'm Andrew Cartwright. So I, I had this, you know, um, I had to film you because I, I mean, you been cleaning the pool for how long? Eight years. Eight years. Yeah. So in eight years, we've gotten to know each other really well. I have so much respect and love for Tim and for, you know, a lot of different reasons, but just because he's an incredible guy. But in addition to that, most people see him come inside, clean the pool yeah, and, you know, grab the stuff and then leave and probably feel sorry for you. Like, oh my God, this guy is working in 119 degree weather <laughs> and, uh, you know, horrible. And man, he must be just having a tough time and broke. Very few people know that like last year in real estate, you made over a million two yeah. just passively with yeah. a completely 40 units completely rented, Yeah. right? Yeah. In a whole different state that you don't even yeah. see. I don't that manage. You don't manage. Yep. And you're, you, you made a million too, just, just like that, doing what you love, right? Yeah, I, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm not doing pools because I have to. It's just, you know, it's something I enjoy doing. I, I really only work about, you know, 20 to 30 hours a week. I, I you know, I have three-day weekends every weekend and stuff. And uh, um, yeah, I have, I have, all, I have other interest things that I like to do. You know, like restoring old motorcycles and stuff like that. So this gives me the freedom to do that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's, it's so funny. I, I, I saw you in a silhouette when I was out here. I'm studying in the morning. I saw you, you know, just doing the thing, and I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking, man, I just love this guy so much. He's just so incredible. I've had such a fun life. Yeah, I, not had. Well, yeah, I'm, <laughs> having, still, I'm still working having. on it. Yeah, having. <laughs> Don't sell us over the river yet, That's right? right? But it, how did you get started? I mean, how did you get started? Because my audience, um, you know, obviously well, some of them, I mean, the idea that you could have just sat back and collected your own a million dollars plus your rent revenue and all that, um, just sitting at home. Yeah. Um, what, how'd you get started? Well, um, back in uh, March of 2000, uh, my wife and I were sitting on the couch. We were watching Alan Greenspan talk about irrational exuberance. And I said, boy, I think that's a sign right there, you know. And I had a 1965 Mustang Fastback that I had restored. I love restoring old cars and motorcycles and stuff. And so we sold it and got 12 grand out of it. And we bought this house in San Juan Capistrano, about three miles, two miles from the beach. Wow. And it was a little three bedroom, one and a half bath, 1200 square foot patio home, zero lot lines. You know, your neighbor's living room wall was, was the side of your yard, you know. But uh, it was a good time. We only paid 200 for it and uh, prices yeah. were going up, interest rates were going down. Six months later, we refied, pulled out enough money to buy two more homes. Okay. Six months later, we did it all again and, you know, just kept doing that. And by February of 2006, we had 30 properties. I think we had like 68 doors total. Wow. And um, about a million six of equity. And wow. so lucky for us, we uh, sold at the right time, got out. Um, but unfortunately, we got back into the market in apartment buildings. <laughs> we ended up with six apartment buildings with 524 units. Right. And then 2008 came and phew. everybody got crushed. In yeah. And so we barely hung on to one property and made a really nice profit on it, actually. And uh, we took that money and we bought a place down in Texas. And uh, it went up about 40 percent since we bought it uh, less than two years ago. Wow. So, yeah. So that was kind of nice. So in, uh, just just this year went up a million to plus you have yeah. passive income coming from it yeah yeah and in fact it's paid off yeah we paid cash for it oh my god that's so, just so incredible so it's pretty soon i'm going to try and refi and pull some money out and leverage into some other properties but uh right now interest rates are you know pretty low so I'll, i think i'll pull the money out but i think i still think we're going to have a correction so i might wait to get to go and buy some more property
Yeah. But uh, well, thanks. I, I know you're yeah. cleaning. You know what? I'd love to have you um, on my podcast. I have a second channel where I have the podcast. I'd love to sit down and, and, and talk yeah, more sure. about that stuff. In air condition. In air <laughs> yeah. condition. It's humid. It's like, uh, I don't know, a hundred and something. It's yeah. crazy out here, it right? It's 50% humidity this morning. It's supposed to be a hundred today. So oh, it's, yeah. it feels like Hawaii, right? Yeah. That's it's crazy. I go through about two or three gallons of water a day. Yeah. Well, thanks for sharing so much You're and for welcome. stopping. And I appreciate you so much. You bet. Thank you, Tim. You appreciate bet. you, buddy. Thanks yeah. for having me on. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed Tim. I think he's an incredible guy. I love him. He's so amazing. And I hope you guys have a great day.